Good day guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ademola Badmos. So due to popular demand, I am going to make an extra video for the Flutter playlist. First of all, I would like to say thank you to all that have um, used my um, playlist and they've uh, found it useful. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your comments and your good words. I cannot mention everyone's name, but um, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So let's get right into it. We want to use um, we want to use a reporter to report uh, our test, and um, it is actually good to report tests so you can um, share it to the wider public in your team and see the result of your test. So let us get right into it. So I'm going to open the Flutter app. I have um, pushed it to GitHub at some point. I can't even remember when I did that. But um, so what I'm going to do is, as good practice. I will first pull the um, the main just in case I have pushed something else because it's been a while I did it. So I'm just going to pull this and see that everything is fine. Then I'm going to break out into another branch, which is also part of the best practice that I've discussed in some of my videos before. So I'm going to create another branch. Let's call this one um, add test reporting. So let's call it add test reporting. And um, in order to add test reporting, we just need to install um, an Allure reporter. There are different types of reporters that you can use. There's a spec reporter here, but the way I specify the spec reporter, if you check, um, what, let's just use the Android, the Android as an example. If you check the spec reporter here, where is it? Reporter is spec. Um, that's all it does and um, when it comes to login, so I logged it on the terminal log level is info So you get the info on the terminal. So I didn't really do much in terms of that But if you want something on the UI and the reporter is one of the best reporters you can use for that So that's what we're going to do right away So I'm going to open my terminal and I will install Alert reporter. I um, Can do that using let me just open a window here and i will look for um the npm the npm port oh yeah so the npm home i can just pick a lot report i've seen it here already so i can go to a lot report and then um this is the version that would probably be there so all i will just do is uh oh i didn't copy that i just need to copy this together no I just need to copy this, then uh, bring it back and uh, install. So I can install like this, npm install and say save dev. Or I can just cut it all short and do npm i iPhone D with the same thing and hit enter. And this will do everything for me. Let me stop this. It is important to let you know that um, node as it is can be your biggest stumbling block while you're trying to do this so you have to know your node version so if your node version isn't up to the latest you might have some issues so mine is up to the latest so i think i am fine so let me do this so i would install again npm this and um, to go on and install for me so for this reporting i'm not going to go through the um, stress of doing the ios part I will just do that on uh, Android, okay? And it would also follow the same steps for iOS as well, I can assure you. So, because all you, once you've installed on the package.json, whatever configuration I, whatever modification I make to the Android configuration, just make the same to the iOS configuration and you will be fine. So let us wait for this um, installation to complete. Now, once the installation has completed, let's wait for it. Let's open package.json while we wait. Yeah, the installation has completed. So now let us see where it has changed. We are yet to see anything. Let me close and open it again. Now, this is the latest version. Now, if we try to run our test this way, we might come into an issue you'll see we'll probably come into an issue and the issue is just because this is a very this is a very new version 
while the other um, the other um, dependencies here they have a lower version so there might be a compatibility issue so what you can either do you can either upgrade everything here to this version i mean to to yes to the latest version or you the, you downgrade this to a version close to this maybe another 7.2 6.0 you can do that and you run your test so for me because this is not obsolete i think the best practice is to update your dependencies because your dependencies the updated version usually have more features more fixes and more reliability so i would want to update that so um before we just do the update the update i will do it i'll pause the video and do that so i don't want to waste time let's just complete the configuration so after this after we've installed this then we need to set up this configuration so i'll just use this to replace replace the entire spec reporter part so i'm going to copy this and i'll use it to replace the entire spec reporter part in my android config um, so i will use it to replace everything here and that's it so meaning i'll be using allo moving forward so i can now go into my code and let's say i just want to put some things into it even if i don't go into my code and put anything the allo reporter will still generate the report for me if i want to so i can go into the code and uh, add allo reporter into it so i can say constant allo reporter or I can call it any name I want, but on a common practice, it is usually like that. So I'll say Allure Reporter requires the Allure Reporter the default. So that being said, if I want to start adding some things, let's say I want to add, let's do this, let's just add one thing. Allure, let's make it. So when the report comes out, I'll have a user story section. So I can say a law reporter add um, feature. Yes, let's just call it feature. And we can say um, shopping, for instance. Let's just leave it that we just write something here. And um, now that we've done this, we've done the configuration. If we try to run it right now, um, let me just try to run it so I can prove that point. If you try to run it right now, npx wdio config one. If you try to run it right now, we'll probably run into an error. Um, let's wait for it. Yeah, we run into an error, and the error says um, says um, failed type error reporter class not the constructor and this is because in our package.json we have the latest version of the Allo reporter but we have an old version of this so i would go right ahead and pause the video and um right after which i'll just quickly update this to the latest versions and once that is done i would um I will update it to the latest version and once that is done, I would uh, just unpause the video and um, um, install it, then run the test. Okay, so let's quickly do that. So I have updated everything to its latest version and I've removed the spec reporter because I'm not using it at the moment. And I can decide to still put it back and still put two reporters there so you can have the spec. So it's possible for me to have something like this spec and this so i can put this back if i want to i can put the spec reporter back but i don't think i need it at all so i would probably just remove it so now that i've done this i just what i did was i went to look for their versions and i put it there so i'm just going to run an npm install i'll run an npm install I'm not looking for anything so I'll just run an npm install so it will install right from the package.json for me and um, I should be good let's wait for that so now we are done with the installation 
so I guess we are ready to run our test so let's run our test again npx and the Android part and let's see the emulator is already on so there is no need to worry about that so let's see what happens and let's see and it still failed again and what is the failure this time let's look at the error it says let's look at the error it says that the error is ts node transpilerly resolve did not call the next hook in its chain so which means um, there are some typescript um, dependencies attached to the um, to this uh, particular to the particular updates now now that we've updated all our drivers there are some typescript dependencies that are attached so the best thing to just do is um, install the typescript so there is ts node and ts node cannot work alone without having a typescript so i'm just going to go ahead and install ts node and typescript so let me clear that and install it as a dependency um typescript and ts node so let me install both of them while we wait for that now that has finished installing so with that done let us try to run our test again and see and we should look out for the alert report so um let's run the test again npx android config now our test is running it looks like it's going to run Let's check the emulator and see what's going on there. Let's wait. Oh, we missed it. That went so fast and the test has eventually run. And uh, we have the results here already. So in order to get the results, if you check the documentation for Alert Reporter, if you go down and um, you go down here, you see stuff like um, the Alert command line. So with the Alert command line, it gives you some, it gives you the ability to be able to auto generate your report if you want to, but you have to also install the alert, alert command line too for also um, it's not just to auto generate your report in order to be able to use the alert command in your system you have to use the you have to install the alert command line so you can go like this and take this and install it i have already installed it before because i use alert in uh, java and selenium so i am um, already have it but i'm just going to go ahead and do this here so it will still be the same. I already have a law on my system, so I don't think it will change. Yeah, but it's good to also install it here because it will now be part of your package or JSON file, which you can, um, you, when you're exporting your code, everybody can have what you have used. So now that that has been done, we can now try to generate our report. But before we do, before I round up this video, let us really talk about this. Okay, so let's just look at something first. So let us generate our report. So we can say allow. This is how it is done. You say allow. Let me just copy the command for time. So I can say allow generate. Okay, let me just say allow generate the name of the file. So I can go and say allow generate. And the name of the file is allow results right now it's good practice to put clean putting clean means that for every time you generate result it will override whatever is in there before right so you just have a clean result at all times so it has generated a report for you so from your result it always generate a clean one at every point in time so now if you want to open the report you can come here manually 
index then open that or you can still go ahead and do an allow open and this would open it on a browser for you and this is your result remember that i added a, a feature called shopping so it creates it for you this way so it shows you what has been done so that's how it's done but before we round up this video let me just quickly explain some of the things here you have um output directory means that this is the name of the file where your result will be generated upon which it cannot be converted into a report using the hello generate command right and this one disable web driver steps reporting it's an optional property you can leave it as false leaving it as false means that it won't disable that reporting and you can also leave this one too as false which means that it won't dis disable screenshot reporting if there is a need to do that so with that i think we've come to the end of the video right if you've uh, followed me this far please do not forget to follow me on youtube and um, like and subscribe as well and also share it among people let them see what i'm trying to do here bye bye